Hey, our friends, fall is here, and that means Thanksgiving is right around the corner. Yes. So what should we draw today? A cornucopia! What is this thing called again? A cornucopia! <laughs> Cornucopia is kind of a tricky word, but it's one of those cool things that you put a lot of vegetables and fruit into yeah. and usually use it for decorating around Thanksgiving. It symbolizes a good harvest. So when the farmers had a lot of crops, this was a way to kind of celebrate that they had an awesome season. Yes. All right, you ready to draw? Yeah! Okay, we need a lot of supplies, so let's talk about them. We're gonna use our Sharpies like we always do, and we're also gonna use a pencil. We'll put that off to the side because we don't need it quite yet, and we have colored pencils too. We're we're gonna use this tan color. We have a light brown. We also have purple, red, yellow, green, and orange. We're gonna use a lot of these colors for the vegetables that we're gonna draw inside of the cornucopia. And you guys can really use any colors you want to because you could add additional vegetables. You don't have yeah. to draw just the ones we're drawing. Yes. All right, let's put those off to the side. We're gonna start with our Sharpie. And we're first gonna draw the vegetables because it's in front of the cornucopia. So let's draw a little circle. We're gonna start down here in the bottom right of our paper and we're gonna draw a circle. Good. And then at the very top, let's draw a zigzag line for maybe the stem, the leaves that are on the top of the vegetable. Okay, now let's, we could draw another one right next to it. Let's draw a C shape. This one's overlapping, so it's behind this one. Yes, and then let's draw that little zigzag up at the top again. All right, we can't have a cornucopia without corn. Yes. So let's draw some corn. We're gonna draw a really long oval shape, but it's behind that first vegetable. So we're only drawing part of the oval. Good, and then come back around. Good job. Now let's draw the leaves on the corn. So we'll draw a little rainbow line on top and a line on bottom, the husk. And then let's draw the details on the corn. Okay. So let's draw a line right down the middle and then we'll draw a line above it and a line below it. Okay, now let's draw the lines going the other direction. That's a really simple way to draw some corn. Corn. Okay, we're gonna draw another ear of corn right behind it. We're gonna use the same steps, but we're gonna fast forward. Okay. So you guys at home can pause it to draw another ear of corn. Okay. All right, let's do it. Next, we're gonna draw a pumpkin and we're drawing it behind all of these vegetables. So we're gonna use more overlapping. We're gonna draw a big circle that comes over and connects back into the corn. See how we're only drawing part of it because it's behind the vegetables. Good, now let's draw the stem. We'll draw two lines coming out of the top and they're curved and going off to the side and then we'll connect the top. Then we're gonna draw the contour lines that come down the pumpkin. So we'll draw a curve we could draw another curve going the other direction. And then one more curve. There we did it. That's a simple pumpkin, huh? Yeah. Okay, now let's draw some leaves. So let's draw one leaf over here. We're going to draw a curve. And we'll draw a curve coming back. And then we can draw the, the vein going right down the middle of the leaf. And we could also draw little veins going off to the side. Now I'm going to draw one more leaf down here. And if we want, another way to draw a leaf, we could draw the middle part first. So that's this vein. And then we can draw the curve that goes around to the top and then back. Sometimes it's easier to draw it that way. Okay, and then we can draw the little veins inside. Now we did it. Let's draw one more leaf. Let's draw it coming out this direction. I'm gonna draw the middle part first. And then we'll draw the curve going over the top coming down the bottom, and then those little veins. All right, you ready to draw the cornucopia? Yeah! <laughs> okay, well, now the cornucopia is behind these vegetables, so we're only gonna draw part of it also. We're gonna start up here next to the stem, and we're gonna draw a big C shape. Here we go, watch this. We're gonna draw a curve that comes around, and then back in. Isn't that cool? Yes, now inside of this, we're gonna draw another C shape. So I'm gonna go right along. This is for the edge of the cornucopia. 
And it's really a basket, right? Yeah. But it looks like a horn. It looks like a ram's horn. And I think in the old days, they first used a ram's horn. And then they started using baskets that look like horns. Okay, so now we got those, those lines in there. Let's add the weave that goes down the basket edge. So we're going to draw diagonal lines going all the way around. Okay, we got that in there. Let's put our markers off to the side and we're gonna switch to our pencil. And the reason why we're doing this is we're going to draw guidelines for the rest of our basket. So we're gonna start here at the top and we're gonna draw this curl. It's gonna curl around and this is what makes it look like a ram's horn. So we're gonna draw this little curl. Good. Now I'm gonna have you erase that and we're gonna draw it a little lower so that you have room above it. Okay. Good, just like that, man. Okay, now we're gonna draw the other side of our cornucopia. We'll start down here at the bottom, and we're gonna draw this curve. It's gonna come around, it's gonna come up, and as we get close to the end of the curl, we're gonna get closer and closer. It almost looks like a dragon tail, like the end of a dinosaur. So it gets really close at the end. Start far away. And then as you, yes, just like that, and then get closer towards the end. Perfect. You did it, dude. Yeah, and then you can erase that little extra line. We can put our pencils off to the side, but we're gonna erase these guidelines at the very end. Okay. Now we're gonna use our Sharpie to draw the texture of the basket inside of our guidelines. Okay. So we'll start down here, and we're gonna start, see how I'm on the edge of the pencil, and then we're gonna connect over to the other side back in. Is that neat? Yeah. Okay, now we're going to draw the next layer on the basket. So we're going to draw a little bump and then we're going to go around and connect back in. Good job. All right, now we're going to do the next level. Do the same thing and see how it's getting smaller as we go back. Good, okay, now the next one, we're gonna keep going. We're gonna repeat those same steps all the way to the end of the cornucopia. Okay. Perfect, that looks really cool. Now let's get our eraser and let's erase all of those guidelines. Next, we're gonna add more vegetables inside of our basket. Okay. So let's draw a, a C shape right here behind the pumpkin. Maybe this is a potato, and we could draw a couple of potatoes. So let's draw another C shape next to it. And then I'm gonna draw a rainbow line on top of that. And you guys at home can use your imagination to draw other vegetables or even fruit. You could draw grapes, that would be cool. Maybe we could draw some grapes back here. I'm gonna draw a little circle and then we'll draw half circles so that it looks like it's overlapping. Now I'm gonna draw another rainbow line behind the grapes. And on this one I'm gonna do the zigzag like we did over here. Now let's draw a couple more leaves in the background. Back inside there. We can draw that line down the middle, and a little vein. And I'm gonna draw one more leaf way back there. Cool, now the very last step, we're gonna draw the inside texture of our cornucopia. Okay. So we're gonna draw curves that come down the inside. See how these curves are going this direction? We're gonna draw the inside going the other direction. We're gonna draw it right next to it. And we'll go all the way around and imagine it going behind the vegetables. Awesome, dude, that looks really cool. Okay, we're done with our Sharpies. Let's put that off to the side and let's get our colored pencils. Now this part we can fast forward. You guys at home can pause the video to do your own coloring and to even try to match the same coloring that we did. You ready to fast forward? Yeah! All right, let's do it, right? right.
checkers, good job. You did awesome on coloring and drawing your cornucopia and all the vegetables. Yeah. Now you guys at home can pause the video to match the coloring that we did, or you could use your imagination and do your own colors. Mm -hmm. Now it looks really cool, except it looks a little flat, doesn't yes. it? So let's add some shading. We're gonna take our light brown, and the inside of the cornucopia is going to be darker than the outside because there's shadows inside of there. Okay. So let's fast forward and let's shade the inside of our cornucopia. Okay. Now we use that medium brown and we're also switching to a darker brown so that we can get even a darker shadow underneath and inside of the cornucopia. Now we're gonna switch back to our medium brown and we're gonna shade the outside of our cornucopia. We're imagining the light shining down from the very top. And so the top of the basket's going to be lighter than the bottom. The bottom will be in shadow. So let's start really dark, press hard down at the bottom and we're not gonna shade the edge of our basket. We wanna start on that, that, second, that second level. We'll start really dark and as we get towards the top, fade out and get lighter. See that? Yeah. And we'll do that on each layer. Now when we get back to where the basket is curling around, we can shade the bottom side. So we switch to the other side and shade up. Okay, now let's switch back to our dark brown, a really dark brown, and we'll put another layer on top of that, just like we did on the inside. Start dark and then fade up towards the middle. Now we're gonna shade the vegetables also. I'm using a dark green. I'm gonna do the leaves and see how I'm starting really dark next to our, the pumpkin. Start really dark because the, the leaf is behind the pumpkin and then it gets lighter when it comes out. And these leaves back inside of the basket are gonna be dark because they're in shadow. They're way yeah. back there. Then I'm gonna use the medium brown to shade our pumpkin. And we're gonna start dark at the bottom and then get lighter towards the top. You can use the dark brown to shade the bottom of these other vegetables. And also use the dark brown to add a light layer on the bottom of the corn. Checkers, man, give me five. Now it looks 3D, doesn't it? Yeah. That shading makes it look like it's popping right out of the paper. And that cornucopia looks like it's got a lot of shadows and it goes back inside and the fruit is inside of it. Yes. Or the vegetables. Or the vegetables. <laughs> Did you have fun? Yes. Promise? Yes. This is a fun way to decorate for Thanksgiving mm -hmm. or even just for autumn, huh? Yeah. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your cornucopia with us and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Bye.